morning. Look at that lucky number right there. 11, 11 a.m. And it is such a beautiful day outside, man. We just got to the Goodwill. We actually came a little bit early because we didn't go to Jollibee. Uh, normally, we go to Jollibee every morning, but this time the drive-thru was closed. So Jollibee's not getting any of my money, bro. We ended up going to, where is this? Pollo. Pollo Tropical. They're aight, bro. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the food. She likes it because she actually gets the real chicken. Uh, I'm into that fake chicken, man. I want that GMO action. Anyways, we're going to go in there. Let's see what we can find. This looks interesting. We've got an Under Armour Polo. Medium. 68 bucks. What's wrong with it? Ooh, if there's nothing wrong with this, this could be a really nice pickup. Ooh, okay, I'll pick it up for now. I'm gonna keep moving. I also saw this literally right afterwards. This is really, really nice. But they want $8 for it. It's a little pricey. I might actually, I'll pick this one up and look at it too, just because it looks really nice. Has anyone ever heard of this brand? I've never seen Bald Head Blues. I'll pick it up, we'll see. It might be sore or something. I mean, they want 10 bucks for it. Do foot joys still sell good? I used to sell these so much back in the day. This is actually a really clean one and it has a logo right here, which makes it like three times better. I'll pick it up and see if these still actually sell. Could be, these are these used to be really good brands, but they kind of fell off. I'm almost coming to the end. There's been so many Under Armour ones. This one's half off. If only they were new. You guys know I love Callaway polos. These things are awesome. And this one actually says Callaway Golf on it. The issue is it's a white shirt. Ah, and with white, there can be stains literally hidden anywhere. And the lights in here, I feel like the way the light reflects off shirts, it just hides it, dude. It just hides it. But this is too beautiful to pass up. We'll pick that up. We'll check short sleeves, then we'll meet up with girlfriend, see what she found. Yeah, that's pretty. Which they want. That ah, little expensive. I was talking to Rachel, told me to pick these up. But these aren't exactly diapers. The thing with these is you you can get these at like Winn-Dixie. Uh, it's pretty interesting actually. A Barbie little... This is like a travel suitcase, right? Why doesn't it close? Is it broken? Everything just kind of clips, but this doesn't actually close. What's the... Yeah. It's actually broken. That's a shame. Oh, look at this. Angry Birds? There's no price tag on it. We'll check this out. Where? These are figures that go on wedding cakes. Uh, why does like... Well, most of the things I'm picking up don't even have price tags on it. How can I make an informed decision? Oh, look at this. Just so big. And what is this? It's like a little closet. We'll pick it up and see. Holy crap, girl, how many stuff did you find? Okay, okay, we'll put these back. Because <laughs> I don't want wedding figures. Do you think wedding figures actually sell? Yeah. You know what? I think I will actually check these out. But what are these? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and leave those back because I don't know what those are. Where's the other wedding figures? Put it away. What is this? It's so weird. <laughs> That is so, so weird. Math card? I'll look it up. I'm doing a new strategy. First I'm getting everything, and then afterwards, off camera, I'll look it up. That way it saves a lot of time. Yes, sir. I just got the light bulb sitting in there. <laughs> what is this? Pick me. Huh. Does it actually... This is actually really nice. We'll check this one out as well. Look how much stuff we found, girlfriend. We found a bunch of stuff today. Glow in the dark, bracelet. What's that? Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think those are really worth it. Because, <laughs> like, you can go to Winn-Dixie or something and get the same one. No, nah, not for me. Rachel can come by and get that. Oh, wow. Kind of sad that that's broken. Very, very cool. m and stuff is always cool. Now comes the hardest part. Figuring out what all of this is worth. All right, girlfriend, I'm gonna go, I guess over here. This, this should be all right. It's a shame. A lot of stuff, but didn't find anything. They got good work shoes here. No, this is the Goodwill shoes.
You. you can get the Goodwill threes. Ow, girlfriend. Is that our sweet or should we come back? I'll come back to it. But this place is a nightclub anyway. You ain't gonna look, look over there. <laughs> Alright, so I did the same strategy as uh, last time where I just kind of picked everything up and then I'm gonna go through all of it all at once. Instead of picking it up, showing you guys, and then wasting time, someone else could come and get it. We found a bunch of stuff. I found a bunch of stuff and girlfriend found a bunch of stuff too. So it's gonna be a little minute I'm gonna be sitting here and a lot of the stuff's actually brand new. So let's start with the first thing. J. Crew Oxford. The reason I picked this up was because of the flags. I think the flags really make this shirt stand out. The only issue is they want $8 see if it's worth it i think this first one i'll leave just because it's eight bucks if it was five i'd definitely pick that one up next up i've never actually seen this brand but well, i never actually i didn't see that before i picked it up it was 13 dollars before it ended up here for eight but the msrp was 50 bucks it's a pretty clean shirt or button down Let's see if it's worth it ah, this one's a maybe just because they want eight bucks so if it was five I'd pick it up easy, but for eight, it's a little bit pricey. Next is a Ralph Lauren. I hate picking up Ralph Lauren's just because it's so basic. It was dry cleaned. That's cool. And it's half off. Might as well check it out. We'll see. I haven't picked these up in so long. I don't even know what they go for. Wow. I can't believe these things actually still sell for what they do. You'd think because they end up in Goodwills every single day. I'll pick it up. Just because it was dry cleaned, I'll get that. This one, never heard of this company either, but five bucks, Duluth Trading Company. Brand new, could be worth it. Let's check it out. All right, this one actually is worth it and it's not pricey, it's only five bucks. I'll check for stains later. Right now, I just wanna see if it's worth it to pick up or not. A shirt, I found a shirt with the short sleeve button downs and you can already see a couple problems with it. Yeah, it'd be a good shirt, but for seven bucks, not worth it. Okay. Uh, I guess that proves it's not worth it. What's next? Foot Joy. Can't believe these actually still ended back up in Goodwill. Oof, do I want to deal with this though? Off rip, there's a huge orange stain on it. I don't know. There's multiple orange stains. I'm good. Someone else's problem. Greg Norman. You guys know I love picking up Greg Norman. These things sell like hotcakes. But again, there's an issue there and there and there and there and everywhere. Someone else's problem. Okay, not bad. Oh, here comes girlfriend again. You found more stuff? Good. I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not even through with all the stuff you found. I only just got through mine. Holy crap, what did she pick up? Okay, we'll eyeball a couple of these. This one, no, I don't do tank tops. What we got here? Wow, I might just keep this one for myself. Got the messy with the trophy. Ah, oh, dude, that's sick. I'm that that one's for me. That one's for me. What we got here? Disney. Is this brand new? Wow. Uh, original was sixteen ninety nine. They want five. I hate when they do this. Look, original tag. You know, I could take this off. There's so much to go through. <laughs> Nah, these are all the ones I checked. Not really worth it. All right, I guess we'll... Oh, you got that for me. I'm not a dad though. Oh, there it is right there. $12.99 plus five. See, the issue is they want $5. I don't get why they do this. Gildan, we don't do Gildan. Gildan, nope, not that either. 2020 conference champions. Girlfriend, look for stains. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I'll put that back. But for some reason, Olympic stuff, no one really, no one really cares about the Olympics. <laughs> Seattle Seahawks, what do they want? 10 bucks, seven. Why, why, what did they, did they up the prices or something? Are they struggling? Why is everything so expensive here now? Last week it was $2, now it's seven. I, I know inflation's bad, but come on now. Oh, my favorite section, how did I skip that? This is the best section in the whole store. You never know what you could find here. Like this. Look at that. Look at that. You think this is worth anything? Some Corona extra bucket action? Hey, don't play it. Don't play with me. Oh, I could give it to my dad. He could put some ice in here. Put some ice in here when, when there's guests. 
That's actually a great idea, girlfriend. I can't really sell it as brand new because it's scratched up right here. Such a cool thing. I'm gonna have to put it back though, just because of that scratch. I can't sell it as new. Someone gets it, they're gonna be like, um, yeah, this is scratched. I want my refund and then I have to ship it back. At that point, I just let them keep it and refund. Wow, look at this, girlfriend. This is German right here. You know how I know it says Friedrichshafen. Friedrichshafen, bro. I was born in Germany, girlfriend. I was born in Germany. Oh, I used to actually own all of these. The Golden Girls, man. I don't know where all these went. I think my sister took them. If y'all never seen this show, you missed out. That was my childhood. Okay, let's check out the toy action and then that will be it for my day. I found a whole bunch of clothes today. Way too many clothes. I actually have to sit here and wash all of these, hang them up and wait for them to dry. There's a, there, oh, it's the bald nutcracker. Someone put them away again. There you go. Back on the shelf you go. There it is, man. I just set up this garment rack. You got the little section down there for stuff. I'm probably not gonna use that. But uh, this is gonna be great. I know it's very zoomed in, this freaking iPhone, man. Um, this is gonna be great for uh, hanging shirts up. I buy a lot of shirts and I can just all hang them up right here instead of putting it in my closet too. And also, it's on wheels, bro. Yes, sir, the 24 Ford Giottos right there. This is gonna be uh, excellent for me so I don't have to put the, uh, the clothes with the uh, with my regular clothes right the ebay clothes with my regular clothes it was a little bit of a challenge to put together but this is the one i bought right here um mainstays rolling garment rack it was like 15 bucks 15 bucks man i could probably fit i say probably like, whew, i could i could fit a lot of shirts on here man hey man you like the rack i made it myself i made it myself Bentley. yes sir i made it myself bro I made it all myself, bro. So I was gonna do this outside, but it's just so windy that uh, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Uh, so I'm gonna do it right here. So the first thing I bought was this vintage Miami Heat hat. It's a Reebok one. Um, it looks vintage. Looks very, very old and vintage. That's that's a that was a three dollar pickup. I might try to get like forty for that. Uh, second thing we bought. Don't worry about this. This one's old. I'm still trying to sell this. But I picked up an Under Armour uh polo it's very nice very clean and it is hold on now brand new with tags so that was a really good pickup this one was nine dollars 98 cents uh this one Doolith trading company this is another new shirt let me just go ahead and uh there it is there's the tag right there for it is this any msrp yeah 44 dollars 50 i picked this shirt up for like five bucks so that was a really good pickup uh this one bald head blues man i did end up picking this one up because it is brand new uh the msrp i don't actually know how much the msrp is on this one but they're selling for some really good money especially brand new and it has this really good uh really cool ship right i can't talk bro <laughs> callaway yes sir uh, i was hoping this one would have came out a little bit nicer uh because it was just, I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but it is white. It's the, it's the yellow right here that really throws it off. But I love picking up Callaway. And uh, this one actually says Callaway Golf right there on the sleeve and also has the V on the back. So I picked that one up. Next one, Nike Golf. I had to pick this one up. This one was just such a nice shirt, man. It's a tour performance dry fit. It has uh, blue right here, little holes right there, and the logo on the back with the stripe right there i think that's really really cool so i picked that one up i uh, don't really know the prices of everything because I, I already put everything on excel so some things i remember some things i don't picked up the seattle seahawks nfl pullover little zip up zip actually works which is good i didn't actually test it before i bought it but i tested it when i got home it has the seattle right here and then on this side seahawks right there so that was really cool this should sell pretty fast and then last thing that i remember i bought was this foot joy uh, really nice shirt. These actually still sell for some really good money. And I think with the logo being right here, it should sell a lot faster. It's a pretty good size. Well, it's a medium, but mediums in foot joy run very, very big sizes in this run very, very big. So this is all I remember that I bought. Um, maybe missing some things, but yeah. Just wanted to tell you guys that I didn't want to forget that. Just want to mention one thing. This is a separate day. 
Uh, I have an admin on my Discord that is hosting a giveaway for Thanksgiving. If you're interested in winning a free $25 gift card, uh, the link is down in the description for the Discord. And uh, all you have to do is just uh, join and then go to the chat that says Thanksgiving giveaway. You can read all of the rules there. And I think the winner, the winner will be announced, I believe, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday night. So if you wanna, if you wanna win some free money, a Thanksgiving giveaway, go ahead and join the Discord. And thank you guys for watching.